Vanessa the Crafty Gemini and I'm back with another video where I'm finally going to reveal to you the different projects we'll be learning how to make in the new Crafty Gemini Bag Club mini edition. So if you recall from the last couple of videos we will be tackling mini bag projects this go around and I want to share with you the details of exactly what it means when you join one of my bag clubs. Real quick and simple and then we'll just jump over to showing you the actual projects. So what are my bag clubs? The bag clubs are basically a master class of multiple projects that are lumped together to create the club where we tackle each individual project step by step. You get step by step supplemental PDF written instructions and of course my step by step super in-depth video lessons to accompany every single project. So no matter if you are an absolute beginner the basics that I would request you have before joining this bag club is that you know how to work your sewing machine. If you can change the thread, wind a bobbin, and you know how to put the presser foot down before you start sewing, I would highly encourage you to join the club because aside from that stuff, I'm gonna cover every single step. From the cutting to the sewing, sharing all my tips and tricks with you so that you can learn some fun new techniques while using fabric from your stash and very minimal supplies. We are not going to need super expensive stabilizers and interfacings and metal hardware for these smaller bag projects. I'm trying to keep things simple so that you can cut back on costs, use the supplies that you already have and be able to turn that into some side money, okay? If you don't need the side money or maybe you don't sell your handmade goods, if you're looking to tackle your gift making for the upcoming holiday season, these will be the perfect projects for that because again, they're quicker to make, they're easier, you'll learn new skills and techniques to level up your sewing game and you'll be able to use probably supplies that you already have at home. Fabric, basic inexpensive craft zippers and some simple interfacings like uh, cotton woven interfacing or batting scraps even to put most of these projects together. All right, so let's get right into the details. The price is the number one thing most people want to know. If you're familiar with my bag clubs, you know that I haven't increased the cost in quite a while now, several years. We're trying to keep things just as they were in the past because I know everyone is struggling right now with added costs. So the club to join is gonna be $97, which is my early bird sale price. So if you sign up now, you will get five main projects that I'll be teaching you how to make, plus an additional three bonus projects. So that's eight projects that you'll get step-by-step -step video instructions for that never expire for 97 bucks. That's a lot of value for a low cost. It will run for the next uh, two months or so because we're gonna tackle one of each of the five projects step-by-step, -step, kind of week by week to give people plenty of time and days to watch the video lessons, make the project, and also submit any questions that you may have on that one particular project using the Google form that we send out to the club members, okay? Then I will answer any questions that you have and then we'll get together on a live Zoom chat as well. So the projects will have two different different live components. Now I understand that not everybody can join us for the live components of the clubs because of different time zones and maybe your work schedule or whatever it may be. I always like to mention that every live session, whether it's the live Q&A sessions where I answer your questions about each project or the live Zoom social chat hour that we have also, they are all recorded and posted in the club platform. So for those members who cannot catch us live, you can always tune in on your own time when you are able to access it and watch the recordings. That way, chances are your question was probably answered on the live Q&A as well, and you get to see other members' ideas and fabric inspiration in the live Zoom social hours, okay? So don't feel like if you miss out on the lives, you, you're not gonna join because you can't access the lives. You you'll still have that content there to access at a later date. Okay, now each project also comes with a PDF printout with written instructions to help supplement my video lessons. But please understand that because my strong suit is video instruction, I really go into depth for every single project. You'll have multiple video lessons for each project so that you can watch them step by step. The videos are also in a platform where you can slow them down or speed them up. So if there's an area that you're really struggling with, feel free to slow it down so you can watch me at a slower pace. I do my best to give you really nice close-ups as well as share my own tips and tricks as we work through each of the construction steps for our mini bag projects. 
Now we also provide you with a printable PDF calendar so you have all the dates for the entire duration of the club. This will let you know ahead of time when each new project's video lessons will be posted to the platform so you can jump right in and start making them. We let you know what date and time the live Q&A sessions are as well as our live Zoom social hours. So you can put them into your paper agenda or your phone calendar and that way you make sure not to miss any of the live components of the club. Again, remember that if you can make them, it's great, but if you have to miss them, they are all recorded and posted there on the club platform for you to access at a later date. And then I think the most important part of all my online paid courses and clubs are that the content is yours for a lifetime. The content never expires. If you get busy all of a sudden, once the club starts, don't feel like you're gonna miss out. Those video lessons, PDFs, and all that information will be there for you to access at the later date whenever you do find the time to go in there. As you know from all my paid courses, many of you have signed up for a lot of my clubs in the past. Let us know in the comments below if you like that part of my clubs where you can go in six months, two years later and find a project that you forgot how to make or that you never got around to making. All right. So now let's head over to the work table so I can show you all the projects that we'll be tackling in this new mini edition of the Crafty Gemini Bat Club. All right, so in no particular order, let's start going over the projects I'll be teaching you how to make in the new bag club. This one is the accordion mini wallet and it closes here with a plastic snap closure. You could also use metal snaps or even hook and loop tape to keep the costs even lower if you have a roll of that. Inside, you can see it's just one fabric that makes up the entire accordion portion that has three pockets here. You can put cash, cards, gift cards, ID. It's a perfect little snap wallet for you to take with you on the go when you just need a couple cards and some cash. And it features two fabrics, one, which is the majority of the pouch, and then two for a contrasting uh, flap here on the front part, okay? Now this project does require a printable PDF download, so obviously you will get that in the course as well. Because of the construction uh, techniques that I will teach you on how to bring this together, it looks pretty simple, but it's really a cool construction technique to use. All right, and that's the accordion mini wallet. So that's a cute little project we'll be learning to make. The next one here is my shell zip pouch. And it actually has a 90 degree angle corner on the one side here, so it can sit up by itself with nothing inside. And the zipper installation technique that we use on this pouch is probably the most interesting because we only use one side of the zipper tape. As you can see when it's open, on this end there is no actual seam. Okay, so we don't have a seam, meaning you don't have any bulkiness right here when the zipper pull is pulled shut. And just to give you an idea, this one also features a PDF download with the template that I've designed for you to be able to create it. But the zipper part here is gonna come together something like this. Say you have zipper by the yard or you have a craft zipper like I have here. We cut it on one end so that we can deconstruct it and take it apart, take off the zipper pull and then basically each one of these sides of our full zipper makes one pouch. So say I was gonna make another pouch with this, it comes together like that. And that is how we get one continuous zipper closure here without the need for a seam on this side. So I will teach you how to do that in this little pouch. So a new technique, and it's perfect to learn a new technique with a smaller project. Again, this one would be great for craft fairs to sell at or to give as gifts. Now next up we have this cosmetic pouch which opens up wide but you can see that it has a cool shape to it and it actually comes together with a pretty interesting technique. There are no raw edges, it does not require foam stabilizer and you can see even when it's empty it stands up. Which if you've tackled bag projects before you know that's pretty tricky to do without the additional cost of the more expensive stabilizer. So I think this will be a cool one for people to try out and for me to teach you how to make. Another thing that I did is that usually when we have cosmetic pouches like this that can stand open by themselves. And of course, we call it a cosmetic pouch, but you can use it to store whatever you want. Uh, usually, they require uh, a more heavy duty sewing machine because you we would have more bulk in these areas. But the way that I designed this pouch, you can see it stands up on its own. We have two interior slit pockets here. So a really cute pouch. And if you wanted to add a little bit more stability to the bottom, and of course we'll talk about this in the course for this in my bag club, we will create a false bottom to put under here if you want a more rigid bottom so that you can put heavier items inside. But you can see that because the zipper installation technique has it extend past on both ends, 
You can zip it shut and it comes together a little bit more closed, more like a triangular shape on the sides. But when we open it up, it opens up fully without being restricted by a smaller zipper, okay? So I think it's a really cute pouch. You can use it also to store your sewing notions. That's why I made this one with the little thread spool fabric. Again, we have the two pockets and then a nice big open space for you to store whatever you may need. All right, next up we have my elastic mini tote. Now this is probably one of my favorite projects right now from the batch because all you really need is some fabric, simple interfacing. There is no hardware, nothing else. There's a little bit of elastic that we use to create this closure at the top. So instead of being a drawstring, the elastic cinches it up to help keep things from falling out from the inside, okay? But you can easily just pull on it and as you're constructing it, we'll talk about how much to pull the elastic, how little to pull it, depending on how wide or closed you want this to cinch up when you let it go like this. Now, I was saying this is one of my favorites because I'm currently using it as a knitting project bag. So if you're a sock knitter like me, this is the perfect little pouch. You can see I have my ball of yarn there, a sock that I'm currently knitting and it fits in there with plenty of room to put another little pouch with maybe some stitch markers and things like that. It would also make a great little gift bag. If maybe you're gifting, say, the little shell pouch, you can put it really cute inside, maybe with some tissue paper, a gift card, and things like that, and give this as the actual gift bag so that it is a reusable gift bag then. Now, we will be learning the technique for making it fully lined. There are no raw edges on the inside. It's a cool technique that I'll be teaching you on how to install the handles like this in the lining. Super fun. I'll show you how to put the elastic in there in the casing and the corners. The box bottom here is not done like a traditional box bottom as you can see. I have done the little pinched bottom that I've done before on my faux leather pouches. If you know about my pinched pouch, uh, pinched zippered pouch, project a lot of you have asked how could we do that same type of a finish on cotton fabrics on a cotton project instead of faux leather and that's exactly what I'm going to teach you how to do when we work on this elastic mini tote and the fifth project from the main five that we'll be tackling in this mini edition of my bag club is this sandy phone pouch so this one I think is going to be a really big hitter both for gifts and for selling at craft fairs we have a flap on the front with a snap closure again the snap closure I like the plastic snaps especially for beginners or those of you that struggle to sew really straight and accurate seams because we attach this at the end so if you're familiar with installing magnetic snaps, you know that the, mag the magnetic snaps themselves have to be installed while you're constructing the bag. And I find that for students who, who struggle still to sew straight, sometimes when they get to the end of the finishing the project, they go like that to close it with the magnetic snap and it's off because their seam allowances were off. So one of the things that I like to do as an instructor is set you up for success and doing something like attaching a plastic snap at the end works really well because you can then find the center even if your flap is a little bit off, even if this portion, your seam allowances are a little bit off, we can still make it and turn it into a working snap pouch, okay? So I will be teaching you how to do that. We use one fabric for here, another for the main exterior. We have two pockets right here, so you can put cash, notes, paper, a pen, anything like that. You can put your phone in the biggest pocket here. I have an iPhone 12 Pro Max, so you can see even the larger smartphones will fit in here just fine. This one has a thick case on it and it has a pop socket, so it's making it almost three quarters of an inch thick. Then you have another pocket in the front. We close that up. When we flip it over, we have a perfect little zippered pocket here, which I thought about doing it sideways, and then I thought it's kind of narrow. I have large hands. I wouldn't be able to really get in there for a tight, small zip pocket. So a nice vertical one like this allows us more room here to put in receipts or folded up cash or whatever you may need. So I think, again, this one is going to be a huge seller for those of you that sell at craft fairs this holiday season. All right, so those were the five main projects that we'll be tackling in the club. Now, on top of that, I've gone ahead and added three additional bonus projects, meaning you'll still get the step-by-step -step video instructions for these additional three projects, which are actually going to be already loaded into the bag club when you join. So where the main five ones will be dripped out week by week, we'll tackle them one at a time. The bonus projects are going to be ready for you to watch as soon as you sign up. That way I won't leave you hanging. You'll definitely have at least a couple projects to get busy with okay so the first one is my funky zippered pouch you can see you can do it just out of plain cotton fabric a cool pop of color for the zipper and it's just a plain zippered pouch now we also make it as a wristlet 
you can see with this indigo dyed fabric, we add the strap to it, we turn it into a wristlet. So that's a really fun project, great for craft fairs and for gifts as well. And it's big, it's a good size for a wristlet or a zip pouch. Then we have this boxy toiletry pouch, which you can see can be stored flat. If you are doing a display at your craft table, you'll be able to pack more of them in if you have them nice and flat like that. And that has to do with the interfacing that we use. I also added a metal zipper so that adds a little bit more pop to it, make it look more expensive. But you don't have to. We're also gonna make it just with the plain uh, craft zipper. So it's up to you, you know, what you wanna use. But you can see, nice, cute, made out of some more masculine fabrics would be a great guy's gift. Easy peasy, you can add cute little charms to your zippers as well. And we have a handle on this side to loop it to a backpack or just to hold it when you're unzipping it and closing it, all right? And then the last one is a mesh bag here that I'm gonna go ahead and put an image of so that you can see what it looks like. It's nice and big and it's stuffed with yarn here. And that will be the third of the bonus project. So in total, if you sign up now during the launch window where we have it open and ready for signups, you will get access to the five main projects I've just gone over plus the additional three. All right, y'all, so that is it. $97 gets you access to the early bird sale price right now, where I'll be teaching you how to make these five mini bag projects plus an additional three bonus projects. Now remember, if you sign up right now, the bonus projects are already loaded in there, so you don't have to wait to get started on the main five. If you wanna start warming up your skills, maybe gathering some of your supplies, you can get started on three bonus projects right now. Remember that the $97 early bird sale price is only valid until the date that's showing right here on the screen for you. After that, you will be able to sign up for the club after we finish it. So sometime in mid to late October. And remember that at that point, the price will go up and you will not have access to those three additional bonus projects. So you'll be paying more for less projects. So if you think you might wanna do this, I would say definitely use the link in the description box below. Sign up now and that way you know you'll have lifetime access whether or not you can actually start right now and make the projects with us. They'll always be there for you to log in and catch them. All right, thanks again for tuning in. I hope to see you in the bag club and remember, all the links are for you below.